In my experience, Lacobrium glaucum is the best kind of moss to use in a terrarium. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use it in a variety of ways in your terrariums. It is no exaggeration to say that this is by far the most versatile plant that I use. From thimble sized terrariums to the largest bowls, it finds a comfortable home in all of them. For the best plants and terrarium advice, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be the first to know when I upload a new video every Thursday. In case you didn't know, my name is Ben Newell and I'm a terrarium artist from the UK. You can check out my work on my social pages or on my website, all the links are in the description below. Lycobrium glaucum, also known as bun or pincushion moss, is a temperate species of moss found in North America and Europe. A temperate environment is one that is characterised by cool weather, so you'd be forgiven for thinking that it wouldn't work well in a tropical terrarium, which of course it does. Here are a few points about Lycobrium glaucum. Like all mosses, Lycobrium glaucum doesn't have a root system and will take its moisture from its immediate environment. As a terrarium is usually a humid environment, this takes care of the watering. However, you will need to still mist occasionally. While it doesn't have a root system, it anchors itself into place using its rhizoid. As I've said, in my opinion, this is the best kind of moss to use in a terrarium, but it does occasionally throw a fit and go brown. I'm not sure why it does this, but when it does, you'll need to remove it and replace it with some new moss. Using tap water will have a negative effect on this moss due to the buildup of chemicals that will get left on the leaves. Using distilled, bottled, deionized, or filtered water is best, and always use a spray bottle on the mist setting. If there are any types of moss that you think are brilliant for use in a terrarium, then let me know in the comment section below. I am always open to finding new moss species. The first step is to brush off any debris. Next, take a bucket of water, preferably distilled, deionized, filtered or bottled water and submerge the moss in it. Give it a good squeeze so the air bubbles are removed. Then remove the moss from the water and squeeze again until the excess has run off. Now it is ready for storing. This is super easy. I keep mine in a large tub just like this. And store it under a few warm white LED lights. The lighting is important, so whatever happens, do not keep it in the dark. For use in smaller terrariums, it's important to trim off the white section, which is called the rhizoid. Once the rhizoid is mostly removed, I divide it into smaller pieces which make it easier to manage when planting, especially in terrariums with smaller openings. by getting the moss into place. I don't cover the whole of the surface as this uses up a lot of moss and can make planting difficult later on. 
I've highlighted the joins as planting here helps soften the lines and improve the overall aesthetic. Perfection is not the goal and as the plants and moss grow, the lines will soften further. Here is the finished terrarium, a vast improvement on the first photo, don't you think? If the moss goes a light green white in colour like this, then that's a sign that it's too dry. No problem, just remove it from the terrarium. Dunk in some water and squeeze the excess out. Place back in the terrarium and it'll green up in no time. Here are a few extra points to bear in mind when using Lycobrium glaucum. So you can see why Lycobrium glaucum is my favourite kind of moss to use in a terrarium. If you'd like to discuss this or any topic further, feel free to drop me an email or a DM on social media. All the links are in the description below. Or you can join my beginner friendly discussion group on Facebook. It's called Terrarium Group and the link is also in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving me a like, subscribe and comment with what you enjoyed most about it. I look forward to reading your feedback and I'll see you in the next video.